I'm Glenn Goldman, CEO of Capital Access Network, and this is Les Falk with our product development group. We're here to talk to you today about lending to small and medium-sized businesses, or SMBs, and we're going to use those two terms interchangeably today. And what you need to know about lending to small businesses is that almost every lender in the world is getting it wrong. If you're a lender in the audience, I know what you're thinking. Not us. We've moved to credit card style automated underwriting a decade ago, and we're managing risk because we only lend to businesses whose owners have FICO scores over 750. But that's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. No matter what you're doing, no matter what any lender is doing today, the model for traditional small business lending still relies upon weight and hope. Lenders underwrite once at the beginning of a relationship, and then every 30 days simply wait and hope that the business prioritizes your obligation and is prepared to send your monthly payment. We realized that to get small business finance right, we needed to change that model. So 12 years ago, that's exactly what we did. We developed a new model called daily remittance. And we tested it and refined it by providing almost $2 billion of our own capital to over 30,000 small businesses. Over the past 24 months alone, our subsidiaries funded over $700 million. Tough economic environment. And our performance during this recessionary period, well, according to our lenders who just increased our own lines of credit, our performance has defied gravity. So if you're a lender, card issuer, merchant, or payment processor, we'd like to show you how you can go beyond the investments that you've already made, investments you've made in your business model, in your systems, and your technology. Our daily remittance platform has seven modules, from market segmentation to collections, Today, we're going to show you just one, our underwriting module, which we call Spark. So let me show you the main Spark interface. This is AMI's underwriting interface for their Merchant Cash Advance product, but the engine behind this has been configured to support any small business product, like leases and loans, lines of credit, and credit cards. Let's evaluate, let's evaluate here an applicant and generate a risk score. Here we have AMI's admin form in the middle of the screen. And here we've got a notes area capturing all past interactions with a business owner. Every touch point throughout the entire organization that's ever occurred with this business owner is captured in the notes area. For permission to pull credit, we either note the admin form or listen to a recording of an authorization over the phone, all without ever leaving the screen. By the way, we are never going to leave this screen. Nobody who ever uses any aspect of the system ever needs to leave the screen. Critical in terms of desk real estate and critical in terms of QC. Spark then electronically requests credit files and receives them in this area here. Up to this point, Spark looks like any other underwriting system. But when it's time to risk score the application, that's when the similarities end. In the top left corner, you can see that Spark has now calculated a risk score. Credit score, like FICO, is picked up, but our scoring model gives it almost no weight. That's right. We've executed on just about $2 billion of daily remittance transactions, and it has taught us that traditional credit bureaus are not predictive of small business behavior. In fact, some of the best scored and performing customers in our portfolio are owned by people with FICO scores in the 400s. At the same time, our scoring model turns down some businesses who are, whose owners have FICO scores in the 800s. And it's those high FICO, poor performing transactions that most financial institutions are giving auto yeses to within 30 seconds of an inbound phone call. So if FICO score doesn't matter, well, then what does? Well, a lot of things matter. Our profiling and risk scoring uses up to 75 variables that allow us to say yes when traditional credit bureaus say no. In fact, one of the major inputs to the model is the daily credit card volume that runs through the small business, which you can see up on the screen. Looking at daily card processing history allows us to generate a gross revenue projection based on SIC code, geography, seasonality, and actual daily cash flows. When this is modeled alongside our 12 years of historical actual performance profiles, it yields a very predictive small business scoring model. But let me just stop here for a moment. We just show you how daily remittance informs the underwriting process and helps generate a more predictive risk scoring model. But why should capital providers stop there? Well, the answer is they shouldn't. Our model goes the critical next step of integrating your small business obligors 
and their credit card processors to automatically send you a portion of each day's credit card receipts every day, which is then applied daily to the SMB's account. That's what we mean by daily remittance. The capital provider gets paid every day based on real sales activity. Compare that to the traditional wait and hope model. The lender sends out a statement every month and hopes the business pays it within the next 30 days. By the time 90 days goes by, the business has failed to make three payments and the lender is just getting collection efforts going. The lender has only two data points, that the business didn't pay two bills. Two data points, not very rich in detail. In the same 90 days, a daily remittance lender has as many as 90 data points related to cash inflow, has been in contact with the business as many as 90 times, and is in a prime position with direct access to the small business's cash flow. That's a much more powerful data set than two points concerning outflow and a much more powerful model than wait and hope. Oh, and by the way, this daily information reweights the scorecards every evening, every evening, and updates the entire organization's daily workflow from marketing to collections. We'll talk about uh, that another time. Now let me show you how Spark helps price the deal. Our pricing engine creates what is basically a full deal P&L, fully loaded with all direct costs and indirect costs, including a target margin. With the slider interface, the underwriter can manipulate the variables to customize terms on a deal-by-deal -deal basis. Once satisfied, the underwriter adds any stipulations and sends a term sheet. That's how underwriting works on the daily remittance platform. It is that simple. From here, your customer moves through other modules in the workflow, and once funded, your deal is tracked through 250 reports and dashboards created every day and intraday and exported to your PDA as well. The model that sits behind Spark offers the finance provider an asset that can be efficiently tracked and managed daily. <laughs>